What's going on, Captain Paul from TSP? Uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by. Appreciate you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it'll help us with the algorithm. But let's uh, let's get right into it. So, uh, the shooting in S Sacramento, California. Uh, it is tragic. You know, ten people were hit. Uh, six people are no longer with us. They have passed away. They are dead due to um, getting gunned down. Um, apparently, these shots rain out around 1, 2 in the morning outside of a nightclub area, a big heavy night uh, life in that area. Uh, I want to say condolences to all the families that are involved. Um, it's tragic. It shouldn't happen. And uh, nobody should be losing their life just because they want to go out to a bar, or go to a little bit of a club and enjoy themselves um, after a long, stressful, you know, we get work just absolutely saddening to see it's tragic and um like i said i send my condolences and prayers out to all families involved and hopefully they can bring this person to custody because as of right now there is nobody in custody uh, the shooter is still at large and um listen sacramento is not a great city to live in it is ranked 87 out of 100 it's 87th out of 100 dangerous most dangerous uh cities in the united states of america the crime rate is above the national medium. It's uh, it's not a great city to live in. Obviously, if you go into the suburban areas, you'll be fine. But uh, Sacramento has been kind of known as getting worse and worse um, over the years. Violence has been up. Violent crime has been up. And a lot of this has to do with California law not really holding these people accountable uh, for their actions. And, uh, you know, when you keep letting offenders go and you keep letting people... Uh, essentially get away with crime this is what you incentivize this is what you incentivize in this country that's why there needs to be law and order there needs to be police forces there, these people need to be held accountable for this actions and I hope this guy who committed this act of uh, heinous violence is brought to the uh, highest punishment that possible um, it's disgusting uh, you have no right to take uh, another human being's life just because they were enjoying themselves and they were threatening you in no manner whatsoever. And, um, you know, I just hate to say it. It's just, it seems like with all these cities and their policies that just incentivize and make, you know, essentially criminal forgiveness a thing, it just, it's bound to happen, you know? And, um, it's just saddening to see because there's just so much human life being lost because of these, uh, because of these people not being held accountable. No, I can't really say for sure um, until we see the person in custody. But generally with these type of crimes, it uh, seems like probably something either, you know, over some type of argument, maybe even could be gang related because of the area. But it just seems absolutely foolish that you're going out on a nightclub and that's what you do. You're taking human beings, you know, lives away from them, taking away a brother or sister mother father you know what i mean you're taking a relative away from somebody just because of an argument or an escalation um, I, don't, I don't know i don't know what this is or maybe this was just some fucking wacko doodle from some sick as i say just some sick fuck that just decided to go to the club and lit off a few shots because he was feeling fucking mad at the world um, i think this proves again that you know we need to be far more strict when it comes to crime in this country you know it's just uh, California and a lot of these cities are seeing an uptick in crime because there is no punishment. And uh, we can't let this uh, guy get away or this girl get away, most likely a male, get away with this uh, type of vindictive crime. It's disgusting. Um, it angers me just from a morality standpoint that you feel like you can justify taking away someone's right to live because you're angry or you have malicious intent. Like you're... That takes a very evil, evil type of person. So, you know, like I said, prayers to all those involved, you know. I guess my one suggestion is, um, you know, at least in California, get out, man. You know, it's not going well. It's, it's California's turn to shit. Get out when you can. Go to fucking greener pastures. You want to live your life in a happy manner. Um, in a safe manner and you know there needs to be more law and order and it just seems like in a lot of these bigger cities just all the law and order is going out the window just for chaos so what, what do you guys uh think down below 
you know, uh, I'd be very interested to have a conversation. So uh, this is Captain Paul for TSP. Like I said, condolences again. And, you know, we got to stop this madness, guys. There's no reason to ever take someone else's life. No reason. See you in the next one.